one person who did have a dream, I would imagine, uh, is Laura from England. We mentioned Laura on the show yesterday. Uh, we're going to speak to her now. Laura recently became a mermaid. Good morning, Laura. Good morning. <laughs> Good morning, Laura. How are you this morning? Hello. I'm very well, thank you. How are you? Oh, good, thank you. Very, very good. Laura joins us on the phone uh, live from the UK, and she appeared in. She's been in the news this week uh, for becoming a mermaid. <laughs> Let's go back to the beginning, shall we, Laura? Tell us uh, what was happening. You were in London, right? I I was. I I moved from Cornwall to London, thinking big city life would would you know be the life for me, and turns out it wasn't. Just to simplify the story. Um, I lasted a very short time in London before coming back to Cornwall and not really knowing what I wanted to do um, long term. And I actually fell in love with, with Cornwall and my, my hometown again. Um, part of that involved me being in the sea a lot during the particular summer two years ago when I came home. Right. So you and so you bet that, Cornwall's on the coast and you're in the sea is, and you're yeah. spending a lot of time swimming yeah. around. Uh, and then what happens yeah. next? <laughs> What happens next is you go, oh, light bulb moment. Why did I just become a mermaid? (laughs) (laughs) As you do. It was just as simple as that. It really was. Um, It was just one of of those moments. And um, I ordered my tail. Sadly, you know, I I had to buy a tail. I couldn't just grow one. No. Um, What? So (laughs) I bought one uh, from America. It's custom made um, to, to my measurements. And... It took about three months before it arrived. It's quite a lengthy process. So, I mean, what is um, what is it made out of, though? Is it what's the material? It's mine. Um, is is neoprene, a layer of neoprene with a monofin in the bottom. My feet are strapped in there; they're in case wow. um, to give me the power and the propulsion when I'm underwater. Okay. Um, and then just a layer of silicone as well, which is the the coloured bit of the tail. Um, but I'm actually in the process of um, getting a new tail. Getting a new moment. tail, okay. Well, I can't imagine <laughs> yeah, these things yeah. are cheap. These things sound quite expensive. They're not. No, no. I said you've got to look at it like a hobby, and if you have a hobby, you're willing to put money into it. But yeah, my my new tail is costing um, over a grand. Wow, so over a thousand uh, pounds. So that's that's, that's yeah. a, a lot of money, and like twenty thousand Egyptian. Yeah, that's a lot of money. It, it's going to be bigger and better. You know. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> so, so, do you have only one tail at the moment, and aside from this one that you're you're getting made, or do you have a collection of mermaid uh, I outfits? I have one tail. <laughs> okay. <laughs> one, one lonely tail at the moment because things look a bit worse for wear because I use it so much. So how um, yeah how often do you uh, go mermaiding? I, I do it as often as I can. Um, I, I work full time for the NHS as well, so I do have a, a normal job. Okay. <laughs> so you work you work in hospitals. You work yeah. as a, in a normal yeah. job, okay? Yeah. A normal job, um, and so it's really on my days off, and um, it's weather dependent, it's tide dependent. But I do I get in as often as I can. I was going to um, say, I mean, it's the UK, so I mean, weather dependent, <laughs> you're going to be yeah, yeah. Much so. <laughs> but this year, I, I sort of you know put that aside and I'm going in when it's raining because people need something to do so they they will come and see me if they're all dressed up in their their rainy yeah. costumes and yeah. what I have to call a rainy costume <laughs> um, and I'm in the sea I'm happy I'm I'm, I'm actually warm so okay. <laughs> it's fine it's fine so yeah the, it's, it's not been a great summer over here actually um so I've had to just just do it. So what, <laughs> what? What was it exactly? I mean, have you always had an interest in mermaids, uh, or or uh, was was there something particularly that happened? Was Splash on the TV or something? What made you want to oh, become? Of it was. <laughs> <laughs> what, what made you want to become a mermaid? That I blame Splash for this dream in my head. Um, <laughs> I love love that film. I always have since I was really young. I would just be glued to the TV if that was on. Um, but because I grew up by the sea, I, I've always been a sea baby. You know, I was in the sea. It's all I remember from the holidays when I was young, um, is being in the sea, pretending to be a mermaid, going underwater as much as I can. So it's always been there. It's not, you know, a totally unrealistic leap. Okay. <laughs> right, okay. Um, <laughs> do, do people say to you, oh, we always knew you'd become a mermaid? <laughs> I just, you know, the funny thing is, when I look back, people have always referred to me as a mermaid because I love being under the water right. so much. Right. Okay. Um, 
and, and now I just happen to be one. <laughs> and, 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 and how, I mean, when you first started, you know, mermaiding, what was the general reaction? I mean, I can imagine just sort of like chilling at the sea and all of a sudden, oh, what is that? Oh, it's a mermaid, you know, like, I mean, how did people receive it? Um, people, it, it, so my plan was just to surprise people originally. I was just going to swim into the harbour at high tide and, and surprise and hopefully <laughs> thrill and excite people. And um, what, what happened was I, I one day washed up on the beach and people took pictures <laughs> with me. Washed up on the beach. I, be- I beached myself, as I call it. <laughs> <laughs> you beached. Um, and it was that reaction, just a really positive, lovely kind of magic feel of, of washing up the pictures with people. Oh. That is, that's now become what it's all about. I'm sorry, my phone is going crazy. Um, well, now you've become a global superstar mermaid. Um, uh, <laughs> what, what kind of reaction do you get from uh, people and stuff? I mean, there must be some people who think you're a bit bonkers and a bit mad, oh, right? Yeah. It's a really mixed bag, and thankfully, I'm I'm pretty self-assured and self-confident. <laughs> there are some massively negative people, but there always will be. Yeah. And mm-hmm. What I've got to focus on is the overwhelmingly positive and lovely supportive aspects of what I do. Right, and because um, it, it, it helps um, ease you and puts you at ease and eases anxiety, and that, it makes you feel better about exactly. yourself, right? Yeah, I, I'm just in my comfort zone. I'm I'm in the sea. I'm swimming, and I'm bringing a bit of happiness to, yeah. to young and older people. So. I think there's, so, I think it's a lovely sorry. thing there, Laura. I think it's a it's a lovely, lovely thing. And also, of course, I mean Cornwall, uh, South Coast of the UK, uh, is as we said, it's quite cold. The weather's been bad. We here in Egypt, we have some lovely beaches. Yeah, and it's warm all the time. <laughs> I know. You could have invited me for a, you know, in-person interview. <laughs> <laughs> we need you. We need you swimming up the Nile. <laughs> oh yes, please. <laughs> well, do you know something, Laura? They, they they have actually in the past, and I believe there are a couple of events coming up. They've done um, Miss Miss Mermaid pageants here in Egypt. Yeah. So I mean, yeah. it could happen, right? You could you could come over. You could be representing the UK. I, I could, but actually, I have to be totally honest, I don't believe in pageants. I, okay, yeah. fair enough. <laughs> it's, it's, I, I, like, beauty contests just don't don't sit very well with me, so it's not something I've ever put myself... I, no. I was maybe going to go forward as Miss Cornwall for the UK when they did it, um, I think it was last month or earlier this month. Right. Um but no, I, I think it would have it, it wouldn't have been right for yeah. me. <laughs> They're not even testing their proper mermaid skills, I don't think. You know, no, it's not. No, they do it. They do. They have legs and do a swimwear. So. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> but it's, it's it's really good for you know upping the the, the mermaid community. Worldwide. Exactly. So it, it, how it big is the mermaid really community worldwide? Just out of curiosity, because I mean, obviously, what do you think? Yeah, much, much bigger than you think. I mean, okay. I'd, I'd easily say there are hundreds, perhaps thousands worldwide, some that are working and some that aren't and just do it as a, a hobby. Okay. Um, I mean, in America, it's absolutely huge. They they started it originally, um, even back in the 1950s or 60s. Really? They wow. They performing mermaids, yeah. It's wow. It's going a long, long time. Well, and there you go, Sally. In the UK. Get, get your tail. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I... I'm not sure I'm very good. I'd be very good mermaid considering I, I only doggy paddle. I, mean, I don't know if I could do it. You well, just have your own style. Yes, Is that right? Exactly. <laughs> the well, drowning mermaid. <laughs> well, Laura, it's been absolutely lovely to talk to you. It's been an absolute pleasure. And uh, and well done you for doing something a little bit weird and a little bit uh, kooky. And not caring. And, and enjoying you. yourself. <laughs> Thank you very much. Well, it's been really nice to talk to you. Best of luck. Yes, have a great day mermaiding or not mermaiding whatever you get up to. I'm actually in bed at the moment. Oh, fair enough. Bed, okay. <laughs> Even mermaids need their beauty sleep. It's the best interview ever. It's the seabed. <laughs> uh, uh, have a good day. Take care. Thank Bye. you. Thanks, guys. Bye. Bye, Bye. Laura.